Hey everybody, today we're just going to do a quick video on one of our automation modes. Before we jump into that, I just want to say thanks to everyone who entered the competition. Tonight is the last video or the last song that's going up. So we had nine entries and I just want to say thanks for everyone who's watched them and give us some feedback. And um, I think even though it's a small competition, I think that it was meaningful for a lot of people who participated and we should have some... Uh, announcement about the winner next week. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, right now, what I want to do is talk about something that is called the automation quick access. This hasn't, this isn't a brand new feature. It's been around, but it's one that I use uh, in one particular situation. So most of the time I do all of my automation, uh, either with a control surface in our big studios or when I'm doing something more portable, I do with my iPad. But every once in a while, I've been experimenting with using the Leap Motion controller to do this. And so what this is, uh, this is a small device. I'll load up um, the visualizer. It tracks hand movement. So my hand is just floating in the air above this device. And um, I've done other videos about this in the past. It's a pretty cool device. Let's see if I can just load up a picture of it at the same time. They got bought out by another company, but they're still here. So you can still find them. This is what they, let's see, right here. This is what they look like. And um, just a little thing sits on your desk or even on your laptop. And uh, it tracks your hand motion. So really useful little thing. And it can do both hands, and it can do independent finger movements and just overall spatialization. Pretty cool. So what I'm using here is Gecko. It's a free app that once you have the Leap Motion drivers installed, and you'll, I think, want to use the legacy drivers with that, um, you'll install this one. Just do a search for Gecko Leap Motion. It'll take you to a page where you can download it. This takes all of the... Well, a variety of hand motions and converts it into MIDI or OSC data. We're going to be using MIDI data in this case. And right now, I have just one motion tracking right now. It's the up and down position, right hand with the fingers out spread or spread out. And I have it connected to MIDI message 16. That means Logic will see this as... MIDI message 16. And the only other thing I have going on right now is that the reset value is set to last. That's important. That means uh, when I'm using this, if I like close my hand, the value is at the last position I was at and it doesn't reset to zero or something else like that. And then my hand moves up and down and as soon as it hits the value, it's able to use that value. Okay, so how does this work inside Logic then with this particular automation feature? So what the automation feature is, let's come back into our preferences for a second. The quick access, when turned on, you can learn uh, a MIDI message or a MIDI value. And then anytime you have a channel selected with a specific parameter in focus, that uh, one controller will control that piece of data. So check this out. This is, uh, I'll show you how to set it up in a second, but let me just continue to show you a little bit about what this looks like. So instrument two, my hands up, I move down, and now my hand moving up and down controls that fader. So I'm gonna use the arrow tool and go to the next one and then I can move it. And then arrow tool over. Go a little slower so you can see as it picks it up. There it is. If I'm just jumping around, it can jump really fast, but if I'm doing a little bit more slow or fluid, it's going to definitely be a little bit better on that pickup. Now, I close my hand into a fist and it stops doing it. This is great. For example, with uh, the touch mode, and I'm just going to push play, choose this channel, and I'm going to put my hand out. And now you can see up and down, and I'm doing a little bit of 
automation. So I can essentially wave my hand in the air and create a mix. Is this better or worse than using the iPad or a big control surface? It's just different. It's not really the same thing. I do find that there's something I can really get nice control with my hand in ways that maybe I'm moving a fader and it feels maybe a little bit different. I think there are some benefits to this. Let me explain the rest of this uh, because we can, if we'd like, do this with any particular automation point. So the very first one we have here, let's load up Retro Synth, right? And then inside here, I can come to Retro Synth and say I want to do Filter Cutoff, put this into touch mode. Let's open this up so you can see it. Now this track is in focus. I've got the Retro Synth Cutoff frequency as uh, the in focus parameter. And then when I put my hand up, Let's actually push play. Now, my hand moving up and down simply controls that cutoff frequency. Go into a fist or pull it down, however you want to close out. Um, say I want to really quickly do some panning as well. So let's go back to the beginning. I just change it to panning. And now I can do some panning automation, just like that. You can see how powerful this can be just moving my hand around with any parameter that is open and in focus. So that's, a, I think, a really powerful way to work. Now you can do this with any different controller. You don't have to have the leap motion. Uh, what you're going to do, if you want to do this uh, and you're not sure about all the shortcuts and things, just go into Preferences, Automation, and you can turn this feature on or off. The first time you turn it on, it's going to say what you want to assign to this. I'm just going to click Learn. I'm going to move my hand up and down, and then I'm going to click Done. And so now my hand with this particular thing is turned on. With Leap Motion, I need to solo out this one position so that it's not getting any other data. If I had a keyboard, I would just turn the knob or something and it would do the same thing. Um, but I really like how the integration of the Leap Motion, this Gecko app, and then Logic all work together so seamlessly. I didn't really have to do any troubleshooting or problem solving. It just works. Uh, okay, that's what I want to show you. Again, thanks to everyone who did the competition. Look for the winners next week. The last song is going up tonight. We'll do some more videos here shortly. Uh, now that the competition is wrapping up, I definitely want to have a bunch of new videos coming out over the next few weeks.